and happy Monday, folks. Happy Monday, October 12th, 2020, and welcome back to another episode of Quarters Without Borders. I'm your host, my name is Kyle, and if this is your first time to the channel, let me welcome you. Thanks for stopping by and checking us out. And if you've been here before, if you're a returning member of our community, thank you for taking the time, or I know in Trash Panji's case, for waking up extra early <laughs> to tune in. I'm sure it'll be a treat for everybody in store watching today because we are currently playing our way through Resident Evil 7 in virtual reality. Now, um, what do we do here? Welcome, you know, welcome to Quarters Without Borders. We try our best to play today for a better tomorrow. Now, what does that mean? We're playing our way through video games. And we do so on the hardest available difficulty. In this case, Unfortunately, with Resident Evil 7, that means normal difficulty. <laughs> hey, Trash Panji. Hope you're having a good Monday. Hope you have a great week ahead of you. But we're playing through on a normal difficulty, and every time we die, fail, or retry, in homage to the classic arcade games of yesteryear, we are donating 25 cents, or an additional quarter, to a charity. And as you can see in the bottom left of your screen, our charity for this game is Gamers Outreach, helping others level up. They're a Michigan-based charity here in the States that focuses on helping folks that are staying in hospitals or care facilities for extended periods of time and just helping bring them games, entertainment, ways of reconnecting back to their regular social lives just to make their stay a little bit better, a little bit brighter. And good morning, Flynn. happy Monday to you as well. Um, that grand total on the bottom, since we just started this game, is at $0, and that quarter's donated tracker right above it will rise as we run into problems in our game as we go forward. Now, a um, couple things to note. Lady Dragana, good morning, good morning. This is exciting. We got a nice house filled up this, this morning. This is exciting. It's going to be a good week. I can feel it. I can feel it. So normally there is gameplay. There's like a main menu screen sitting in the background, and right now it's probably just a black screen for everybody. I think that's normal. So Resident Evil 7, if you're unfamiliar with it, has a standard 2D way of playing it and, of course, a 3D way of playing it in VR. So I loaded it up in 2D this morning, and when I got to main menu, it's a different main menu than what I'm seeing on my screen. But the 2D menu showed up just fine on this screen over here for the output. Switched over to VR mode, restarted the game, loaded it up, and I'm getting a nice VR main menu here. However, I think just because of the way the game is set up, I don't think it broadcasts the main menu out. Now, I may be mistaken. This could just be a glitch, and we'll have to kind of reset like I did last time. Um, reset my little capture box. But I'm under the impression that as soon as we start the game, it should load up. Because I was capturing video just fine a moment before um, I loaded to the menu. So we're going to find out, you know. Growing with time. Growing with time. So without any further ado, I'm going to strap this little headset on, and I'll load the game up, and when it gets into the game, hopefully you guys will be seeing things. I'll peek out the visor or not. If you're not seeing things, we'll pause, we'll troubleshoot, we'll make it work. And if you are seeing things, well, unfortunately, we will not pause, and I will have to actually start playing the game, so. <laughs> uh, one thing, sorry, one thing you may note that I mentioned on our play last week was that uh, I would consider wearing headphones. And if you note, I am not actually wearing headphones today because, yeah, I'm not ready for that yet. So let me make sure this is centered. It's pretty centered. I don't think you're having anything come through on your screen yet. But all we're looking at right now are menus. I'm going to go ahead and click continue to load the game. And once it pops in, I will make a statement saying we're loaded. And I'll see if you all are seeing anything. I'm at a loading screen and you're not seeing it. She's alive. Ethan's wife, Mia, has been missing for nearly three years when he receives a sudden message from her. The message leads him to an abandoned house where he enters to find out what really happened to his wife. 
So I'm gonna take this moment while it's loading. If anyone hasn't watched the launch trailer for this game back when this came out, I think two years ago, I watched it over the weekend just kind of as a refresher. I really don't know why I chose to play this. Watching that launch trailer is absolutely horrifying. Okay, we are now in game. Are we getting anything? I do not think we are. Give me one moment here. Let's try something. I'm gonna go do that. It's hard to do this. Okay, give me one moment. So we have a main menu screen here. I see, I see that, I see that. So apparently, even though it was running just fine, once it loaded the menu, it stopped. Let me just unplug my HDMI cable, plug it back in, because that's what solved the problem Friday. Haha! -ha. Why VR is so finicky, I'm not sure. I know it's probably got to do with the fact that, like, already with VR, there's like three HDMI cables. They're on top of that fact, the other three HDMI cables that I'm using to run stuff from the PS4 to the PC to the capture device to my output monitor and integrating that entire network of cables with the network of cables that is VR, I'm sure there's just a lot of weird signal stuff going on. And may I point out, this isn't me stalling or anything, that the foam padding on my VR headset, so there's like nice cushy foam padding, the outer layer has this kind of like rubber textile kind of... Uh, I don't know if you can see that very well or not. There we go. This kind of rubbery texture kind of thing. It's starting to like peel. So if I have just like black stuff all over my face, um, that's what that is from. I'm going to have to look in to see if I can get that replaced or fixed or something. Okay. All right, folks, once again, as usual, well, not as usual, I guess, but as we're learning... Um, once I'm in the headset, I will peek. I will peek out from time to time to try to look at the chat, but I can't see the chat in real time. You have to be patient if you have questions or things like that. Oh, great. Um, man, so much new things, and I forgot to set an alarm. We need an alarm. There we go. Okay, I think, bear with us folks, this is only day two <laughs> with VR. Um, I think that's everything. We have the alarm, so I know what time it's gonna be. I think you can still see, fantastic. Oh God. No, I don't need I don't need to save, that's okay. Yep, it just got horrifying. Like that quick. I have the email, I have her driver's license, and I have the footage or the people died. And of course, they're going to expect me to go. They're going to expect me to go in that same freaking wall. Oh, the 
doorknob's broken. Man, it is so crazy. Like, just to speak to the testament of VR, how quickly things change. I went from being perfectly comfortable sitting in my studio. What? What? Oh, really? I can't take one of the fuses out and reuse it? So I need to find a fuse. But it's ter- I need a haircut, man. I'm itchy. It's terrifying how quickly all this shifts. Okay, well, we gotta go through this wall. Oh, God. Did you hear that? Like, I don't know, like, after just watching... Man, after just watching the video footage that we did, why would we go in here? I'd be very curious to know if there are health benefits associated with terrifying games in virtual reality. Because I gotta tell you, I mean, I know it's just a game. But the illusion it creates. Oh, great, more cockroaches. The illusion it creates is enough to really get you freaked out. There's something moving down there. You can see the shadow moving. It's kind of like swinging back and forth. There seems to be a light. Man, this is like an epically deep basement. Why is your basement this deep? What am I doing, folks? Why did I decide to play this in VR? Oh, great. Really? Uh, well, I'm not going back up that way. There's something swinging. Oh my gosh. Like, for reals, what the heck are we doing? (sighs) 
Like, I, I don't know what kind of feelings this elicits, what you are seeing right now on your screen. But for just a minute, imagine it's not a flat 2D screen. Imagine you are standing in this cobbled together, damp, glistening basement. You can hear the things echoing ahead of you. Oh my gosh, what was that? I think that was a lighting glitch with the fog. I don't know if you saw that or not. Oh gosh, these are the basement stairs, aren't they? We're gonna come out in the basement. Oh my gosh. This is how deep this is. I am currently standing right now. So for what it's worth, I mean, you can't put your head underwater. But I'm standing. I'm not crouching. So I am neck. Oh gosh, this is like, not hilarious. Hilarious is not the word. This is horrifying. Like, it honestly feels like you are neck deep in water right now. Like, there's just no visual depth. Oh gosh, what am I doing? Oh, and the water ripples going out? Gah. Like, okay. For reals. Oh. Lady Dragon, I do not appreciate those comments. <laughs> this is horrifying. This is absolutely horrifying. Even though I know I'm sitting in this room, a studio, which has like three different flood bulbs shining on me right now and a fan blowing on me. This is still absolutely horrifying. Oh. <sighs> It's like I'm swimming. I'm literally coming up for air and going back in. And the way the brain shifts, how it plays tricks on your mind. Okay, hang on. I think I need to start getting a bandana, like a VR bandana. Maybe I can make a... I know Mr. Magania talked about selling shirts. Maybe I can sell VR bandanas. Keep your hair out of your face. Oh, okay. Here we go. And just like that, the brain has shifted, and it's like this is horrifying. Oh, I lost whatever kind of focus I had. That was really... Oh my gosh, what are we doing? Why? I don't understand. Why are we doing this alone without calling anybody for backup? Oh God. Can I just say that this hallway is too long? There's no way that something is not going to happen walking down that hallway. Oh, his hands are wet. So on last week when we were doing this, some comments were made about how ghost hunting in real life may translate, the skill set would translate over. And I'm going to have to say I completely disagree because this isn't real life, this is a game. I know specifically 
that the people in this game have designed it. Oh my gosh. What the heck was that? They have designed it to be as terrifying as possible. So I know that there are gigantic, crazy monsters and zombies lurking around every corner. Or in real life, there's at least the possibility that that's not going to happen. Oh my god, like I'm not turning around. I'm not looking anywhere else. I'm looking dead ahead. I'm gonna squint my eyes in case anything horrifying pops up. Ah! There's like worms wriggling. I think it's the dude. My gosh. I think that's Andre. Can, I'm just gonna take a second to apologize to anyone's like headphones or speakers that I just blew out when I screamed. Also, as I clearly am not playing this, <laughs> that was pretty terrifying. As I'm clearly not playing this as fast as other games, by all means, if this becomes a drag, let me know. Because I can either just plow on forward, or worse come to worse, switch it to non-virtual reality mode to make it through this game. Oh. <sighs> It is bright, it is sunny outside, it is a beautiful Monday, and I'm over here, like, shaking. This is how terrifying this is. <sighs> well, we found a dead... Oh my gosh, what is that? Are these all the people? The 20 people that are missing? I don't think it's going to let me interact with any of them. Like, for reals, we're not like John Rambo here. Like, all we have is this. Tiny little hands. Like, we're literally in the house that at this point you can verify is a home of murderers. And judging by the newspaper reports, it's like 20 people they've killed. And he just found a dead body in the basement. And he's like, we're just going to keep going. Like, rip one of these boards off of this table. Or get a brick or something with some nails in it. And let's get ourselves armed. I'd feel a lot more secure if I had a thing that I could beat people with. Gosh. Just by making this even a thing, they have made doors terrifying. There's a prison cell. Hmm. 
there's more light down that way. If I may, I'm going to take just one second to admire how much effort went into building this house. Like, not virtually, but if you were to believe this was a real place, they spent a lot of work putting the foundation to this house up. Like, the work is commendable. I'm not a fan of that plywood. What the heck, people? Come on. I told you I was not a fan of that plywood. What the heck? Why are there like a million syringes? in the basement. Okay, well we have a cell with some light. Wiggles, come on. This is not cool. Mia? Shh, don't say anything. I mean, there is a lady in there. Oh my gosh. Ben is dead. Harold, Arthur, and Tamara are turned. Whatever that means. Craig, Leela, Sean, like Sean of the Dead. William are all dead. Travis turned. Peter and Andre. Peter and Andre, these are the people that were in the video. Peter and Andre are both dead. So Andre we knew was dead. Peter, I think, was the host. Clancy was who I was playing as, L. Does L mean living? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It says heat, but that's very clearly a spam. Bolt cutters. What happens if I don't save her? Jeez. 
Jeez, I think it's a huge room in my inventory. Poke her with a stick or something? Or like throw something at her? I would prefer not to turn this person over to find out they're not Mia and that they're dead and their face is like ripped off. Oh, Jesus. Mia. Oh, thank God I found you. It's me. It's Ethan. Ethan? Ethan? Are you alright? Okay. You it's actually be here. her. What do you mean? You contacted me. No, no, I wouldn't. See, I knew it. Did anyone see you? Did uh, he see he's you? He's like hey, creepy. Who else is here? What the hell's going on? Daddy's coming. We need to go. Daddy? We need to go now. She's like very emaciated. I am less creeped out by the fact that at least there's a person. Where are you taking me? Someplace safe. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Baby, you've been gone for three years. Three years? Has it really been three years? Mia's name wasn't on the list. <laughs> what? What is this place? What'd they do to you? Not now. We need to get out of here first. I think it's this way. Oh my gosh, it's like a lab table. It's amazing what like an NPC can do. How much more confidence they give you. Oh my gosh, what is all this? Are those trash bags? Plastic bags of stuff? It's a lot of shoes. Mia, we have to talk. That message you sent me. Not me. That wasn't me. But you did. I didn't. Okay, fine. Just tell me what's going on. I'm telling you everything that I know. I mean, it's very... We have to go this way. It doesn't take a rocket scientist. I know I can't actually see you right now. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that that message was clearly fraud. Like, it had nothing specific in it. Like, anyone that basically would have kidnapped Mia and killed her could have sent that email or message or whatever. I mean, there could be some, yeah, I could see some Stockholm Syndrome. Tigger, good morning, good morning, and welcome to the channel. Happy Monday. Oh. Continue on, we shall. Like I said, it's definitely not as creepy because we're getting a little bit of exposition right now. I mean, this would be a great time because their guard is being dropped for the developers to spring something at you. Pardon me. To spring something at us. Mia, go through. Are you sure you know where you're going? The family used to bring me food through here. I remember. How do I get through? She's gone. Of course she's gone. Try to remember the path that we're taking. There. 
It's there. I don't want to know what's behind this door. This is it. I remember this room. There's another door here. I'm sure of it. Right there? The open one? It's not here. It's gone. It's gone! But that open one. We're gonna one. be a family. Now that you're here. Uh-oh. That's creepy. There's another door here. I'm sure of it. Are you okay? What the heck is that doll? I mean, it's not just like behind this thing, is it? Can I shut that door? I really don't want that open. Thank you. Why can't I grab something to defend myself? Ah! No, no, leave me alone! What the heck? What the heck? What did I just miss? How did I, how did this happen that quickly? It's very unrealistic. The heck is that? It's like a, a lady in a chair? It looks like a lady in a chair. E zero zero. E zero zero one. Was that there and I just didn't see it before? We were doing so well. And then of course, now I'm creeped out and separated again. It's pretty good shape, that little firebox, boiler water heater thing. I gotta say, like, I know the graphics aren't, like, perfect, perfect, but this is a very convincing water heater. I'm very impressed with the detail on that water heater. I like how my flashlight can be bright and dim at the same time. How about it just be is bright all the time? Wow. We're going back up to the house. Are these the basement stairs? I mean, I might not... They might still not know that I'm here. Oh. Game. What are you doing to me? Man, my grandmother's house used to have a basement like this. Well, it's raining. It looks like some sort of hallway. It goes to the left and to the right. Why do they build blind corners in this house? It's like deliberately designed so you can't peek around it. Okay, not to the left, just to the right.
Can I just say something? If they basically... All Capcom really needs to do at this point, because I'm just... This reminds me of Resident Evil 1 right now. If they basically just made every single one of the Resident Evils that they already have, specifically 1, 2, and 3, maybe Code Veronica, things like that, Resident Evil 0, if they redid these in first person, in virtual reality, they could probably... I know they just started redoing them in, like, HD and updating them and stuff. But honestly, they could probably make a mint. Just doing them all in VR. I don't know if you could hear that or not, but it was basically just like a dead phone line. It was like, beep, 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 beep. It reminds me of the windows at the front of the house where I came in. Guest house map. How does that work? I took it. It's the wrong button. Sorry. Oh, how did I do that? Okay, just clicking on that. Alright, so there's a bath. This is nice! Look at this! This how this guest house is three floors. Okay, well before we dive into the details of this map. The fear plus how much water I drank this morning is calling. So we're gonna make a quick hop to the restroom. Oh these little black fuzzies. And then come back. Oh my gosh, this is horrifying. Folks, give me 30 seconds. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Whew. Man. So I gotta just say, they've done a fantastic job cultivating the fear of the unknown. Because that's really what's making this scary. So far, granted we've probably only played like 30 minutes into this game so far, but if you think about what I've actually done, I watched the videotape where a body fell on me and then the dead body came out of, out of the water. But besides that, Nothing really scary has happened yet. The game simply has atmosphere and sound and the immersive properties of virtual reality. 
So this has probably been the, like the most horrifying gameplay experience I've done so far, and we've done nothing but walk through a basement. <sighs> so this is either going to turn into something horrible later in the game when things actually get terrifying, or my body will adjust and we'll be fine with it. We'll see. Okay. Oh, the map. We're looking at the map. Why are we not looking at the map? Does that button not work? What the heck? I don't understand how this map works. Oh. So I did not know this. But this particular, this touchpad sensor on a PlayStation 4, and if you haven't played with a PS4 controller before, this, um, I don't know if you can see this right now, but this little dark section right here is a touchpad. And the most that's ever been utilized in games I've played is you can swipe different directions. So you can swipe right, left, up, and down, and you can click it. But it seems to access the map. It's not just click. Okay, I know it worked that time. It's not just click, though. It's click on the left side. Only if you click on the left will the map open. If you click on the right, nothing happens. If you click up, it kind of opens, I guess. And you click down. What the heck? This was not doing this before. What? Where are all these options coming from? I don't know, either way, it's kind of neat, because it's not just click on the touchpad. Specifically, click to the left of the touchpad, and it opens things up. And that's a feature I did not know. Okay. There's a third floor of the guest house. We're not even in the main house, we're in the guest house. Email and the list of names. Front. <clears throat> Shoot, was there a back? And I didn't look at the back of the list of names? Okay. <clears throat> this seems to be the outside, I think, where we came, maybe? Or is that something I've never been to yet? Yeah, that's where we came. It is. I don't know what... That red door must be the gate. So the car was over here. We walked through here. That was the main gate. Making sure nothing's coming at me. To the front of the house. This area. Then we walked around the woods. Apparently there was something here that I couldn't get to. I don't remember came around, and this is the back door. We came in the back door, walked into the kitchen, and then there was the living room with the hidden passage to the basement. And those are the stairs that went up to the second floor, which has a tiny little room and I guess a hidden flight of stairs that looks like it'll go to the third floor, perhaps? And that's how you get up to the third floor in the attic and all that? Oh my gosh. Guards area? That sounds horrifying. But then we... As far as I can tell, this is about it. Because this path will lead to this what a little this opening with the bathroom and stuff. But that's the locked door. That's the other side of that locked door. And we went through the basement, where there's the storeroom, the storage, surgical area, guards area with the cell, and that's that water path. We've explored almost this entire guest house. <laughs> For what it's worth, the guest house. Bathroom on the left, possible thing on the right, and we've come full circle. 
which tells me that something major is about to happen, storyline-wise. Because whenever you're about to completely finish exploring a map, that means it's time for the next level. And in this kind of a game, it means some sort of story development. Yeah, we're not going in there right now. Oh, okay. Well, I can go through this door this time. Maybe we will. I mean, we could. I guess the goal is to get out. That door, I think, is still locked, I imagine, right? Your position... T what, do, what do red things mean? I assume red means locked. I mean, we could go out the way we came. in the shower. Ooh, what'd I just take? First aid med. Closes up wounds and promotes cell regeneration. Partially restores health. I don't have a very big inventory. And there's another one. Can I combine them? Or is that just like a bowl? that sound coming from? I guess this is where the 3D audio is handy. It's to my left. Through this wall. So it's outside, possibly. to go to the sound. We have to go to the sound. What is it though? There's nothing back here. Nothing back here that I know they could be knocking on. like a window. <sighs> I'm being led like a mouse in a maze. The map's explored. I literally have nowhere I can go at this point. Which means somebody is going to get me. only thing I can think of is I have to go backwards now. I have to go all the way back through the entire basement 
and come back up on the other side. And you know what's frustrating? Is there hasn't been a save point. The only save point I know of is back here on the other side of the basement. So that we have to make it back through the entire basement just to get to a save point. Screw this game, dude. Screw this game. Ugh, itchy. Oh my gosh. Can you hear that? Can you hear that on your end? <laughs> Lady Duran, I just saw your thing about your cat jumping on you. That's hilarious. Ugh. So I don't know if you can hear that. Of course, my flashlight is not penetrating the darkness like it was. But now there's whispering. There's like some voice going like... <laughs> as I'm climbing down these stairs. I can only assume I have to go all the way back around. Which to me is really frustrating backtracking because I was ready to be done with the basement. Ugh. Man, how is this so... I... Maybe my first quarter is near. That is a very good observation. I don't know. I can't defend myself. I have no weapons. I... This is probably all tutorial, technically. Like, and I can... This would not be half as scary if I was just playing this on my screen. Ugh. Why? Why? I don't know if I could do this with headphones on. My gosh, there's clearly another voice. Okay, this is not okay with me. I can't even walk fast now. The game literally is making it, so I have to tiptoe. And the door just shut behind me. Yeah, screw you, game. You're not going to shut the door behind me. What just shut that door? Folks, is it possible for me to express in words how much I do not want to go down those stairs? Because I really don't want to find out what is making that sound. Can I at least get my, like bolt cutters out and equip them and start swinging them around. Those were some pretty... Those were some pretty heavy-duty bolt cutters. See, it does not let me go down the stairs quick at all. There's no light. tiptoeing oh my gosh I'm walk oh my gosh what the heck is that Ugh! get away from me lady ah! Ah! what the heck oh my god I don't know. 
pushing the buttons. Get the knife. I can hear her. Get the knife. I can feel her clawing her way back inside of me. Get out! Leave me alone! Oh my god. I've been bad. I deserve this. Oh my god. Quit. Oh, no, I not have to carry you? Where'd the knife go? What the fuck are you, Mia? Where'd the knife go? Tell me I have the knife. Where? No, this is... That's crap. That is total game... Squiggles, man. There was a butcher knife that just cut my hand open. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And now it's gone? Did it just magically make its way through a crack in the floorboards? Ah! Ah! What the heck? Oh god. There we go. How do I attack? We're all dead here. Ah! I'm done. I'm done playing. Oh my gosh! How do I even have hands to get a cut? Oh, come on. Punch, punch her in the face again, man. I don't know what buttons I'm supposed to be using. Oh my god. I'm sorry. shouldn't have turned off the controls because I don't actually know what buttons I'm supposed to push like and that's not even an option why is it not an option oh wait no hey, hey. okay and back that's not helpful what else like Give me the controls for just the game. That's what that little symbol down in the bottom means, though. It means press the right side of the, the pad. Because she kept, like, stabbing my hand, and I kept getting stabbed. But I think I was pushing the wrong buttons to fight back. Until, of course, I pushed the right buttons to fight back. Is there a phone ringing? Can I get my axe back? Her blood's very sparkly. Can I get my axe back, please? Well, we're in that room. There's definitely a phone ringing. I'm not sure how that's really gonna help what just happened to my hand, but I'll go with it. We're in some sort of library. I wonder why it was sealed off. Can we just ignore the phone call? So can we just talk about what just happened? Whew. That was horrifying. Like, the ring in it up those stairs 
And then when did she become, like, Superman and, like, can throw me through walls with one hand? This turned thing is a lot more than traditional Resident Evil zombies, I have a feeling. And I have a good feeling that she's also not dead. If she's got, like, that super zombie whatever's happening to her, she's gonna come back. I do wish I knew what the controls were, because I just blew through both my med packs, and I feel like I didn't have to in that fight. <sighs> Folks, I hope you are enjoying this. Because <laughs> I will maintain, I am cutting years off the end of my life playing this. Alright, let's go... Answer the call, see if Morpheus is on the other line. I may, if it's actually... Man, I feel like this would be helpful. I really do. I don't know. In the sake of the spirit of the game, we will go without tutorial messages. I just wish I knew what I was doing. My gosh. Where'd the axe even come from? How did we find that axe? We got thrown through a wall. Must have been like adrenaline viewage or something. Somehow we were able to see that axe. Why is that phone ringing? Okay, that door wasn't... Didn't she throw me through that door? Didn't that door explode? Well, it's locked now. You really shouldn't have come here. Who's this? And what the fuck is going on? My name's Zoe. There should be a way out through the attic. Attic? Go there. Now. Did that door just unlock? I think the door just... it did. So somehow it magically unlocked. The problem is, I don't have a fuse. To power the stairs to get to the attic. Oh my god. The door didn't magically unlock. She unlocked it. Mia? Okay. Have a hatchet. Axe, an old axe. It's rusted, but you can still use it to defend yourself. This is block. Okay, I'm learning. Block. Block low. Block high. Block low. Black right. This is a uh, ready it, I guess. <coughs> Swing. <coughs> Heavy attack. I'm assuming this is light. <coughs> this is fast, right? <coughs> Pretty quick rate of fire. <coughs> and that's very heavy. Okay. So block, two hand, heavy attack, light attack. Inventory. And circle, square, and X are still controls that I have no idea what they do. Block, block. This is important. Block, block, attack. Oh, there's a little delay. Attack, block, attack. Man, dude, you gotta work on your follow through, man. You're way too slow. You're fighting like a crazy murder zombie wife. You gotta be faster than this. Ooh, say Jim on the handle? Looks like it says Jim. Okay, let's go. Oh, ho, ho. This is my axe. There are many like it. But this one is mine. 
No, she's alive. And bleeding. Ah. Do I really want a heavy attack to be my first thing, or do I want to have a block be my first thing? God, what was that? I mean, I've been through here, but that light, that chandelier was not on the first time. I can save my game, though. Folks, I my heart is racing right now. Oh. You don't need to exercise in the day, just play virtual reality. Oh my gosh. Question is, where did Mia go? There's the stairs. They're electronic. gonna drop a save. So the problem I'm running into now is I don't know where the fuse was at. Like, cause that's what I need. To power these stairs, I need a fuse. God help me if there was a fuse in the basement and I didn't see it. Whoops. The Zoe lady could have been more helpful. Oh my gosh, I am very impressed. The fact that there's no collision geometry here, but when you attack, there actually is, and it leaves a mark. Maybe it doesn't. No, it does. Look at that. I'm very, very impressed at this game. That is a neat detail. So my idle animation, which this, what you're seeing right now, has no geometry, collision geometry, because it doesn't actually exist in the world, it's just what I'm seeing on my HUD, is different from the, the attack animation. That's a neat thing. I mean, I have an axe. Can't I just go all like, here's Johnny, and like cut my way out the main door? Because I feel like that's a totally viable plan.
So what's odd is those stairs right here don't actually go to the basement. Like, they, there's, there's no spot they would come out. Unless they come out... Oh, that I think that area where they do come out, that's the other side of that plywood that I was talking about saying I didn't like. So we need to restore power to the attic. Does anybody see any more blood? Do you know where Mia went? I can't. This isn't dangerous at all. That's how I do all my electricity work. Why can't I just pull one of those lame fuses out and put it in the stair slot? Wiggles help me because I bet you, I bet you the fuse is in the basement. And I bet I missed it. I bet I missed it. Unless it's in here, this would be a fine place to put the fuse. Seems there's only like one drawer that opens up per thing. I mean, we got an axe from here, so I guess I can't ask too much. I think the whole not having button prompts made me miss the fuse. Then again, this is a little more realistic, right? Now I could fit through that. Screw this. Let's get out, man. Your wife is dead. You determined that already. Let's just leave. I don't care if it's raining. But it is a little realistic, I guess. Finding a fuse in a crazy murder house would be horrifying and hard to do, so. I guess why not? You know, this Zoe person, it would be very kind of you to have told me where I could find a fuse. Oh, I can't go back.
Hmm. So I can't. I can't go back this way. I have to go. I could go through the kitchen. I'm going to search basically everywhere but the basement. As long as I can. Interesting. So that's a bit of a rendering glitch right there. See that light? It flickers, but it's not deliberate. It only flickers when my crosshair or my view hits a certain spot of the threshold. Right there, the light goes out. Then it comes on. Interesting. I wonder why that is. This room got very dark and creepy. It's a kitchen. There should be a fuse box. It's a chicken. Looks like a chicken. Oh, I can open this cabinet. My bolt cutters now. I forgot. That's what the light here is for. Aha! Oh, God. Thankfully. Oh, my gosh. It's Mia. I don't know how she came from the left because there's nothing to the left. But that was her. Thankfully, we don't have to go in the basement. But there's no way she could have came from over there. Impossibility. Why, game? Why? It's my alarm going off. It terrifies me every time I hear it. Oh. Okay, we're not ending just yet. I know the alarm's going off, but I think we're at a moment. All we have to do is put the fuse in, go hit the stairs. At the very least, we'll put the fuse in and we'll go save the game. And that'll be where we have to conclude for our adventures today. So just bear with me, folks. We're almost done. Okay. Power is restored. <clears throat> Gosh dang it. You know it's not going to be as easy. as just walking back where we have to go. It's okay. It's okay. It's me. What are you hiding? You know you didn't mean to hurt me. Oh my gosh! He's got a screwdriver! You shouldn't have done that! Block it! Block it! Block it! We have a block it for an option! It fucking hurts! Oh my gosh, you stabbed my hand again! Get it out! 
Get it out, dude. Okay, trigger button is what I'm supposed to be using. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. She's getting something. Oh my gosh. Is there a button I'm supposed to be pushing? Oh my god. Oh my gosh, my hand! Where did my axe go? Quit holding your bleeding hand! Get your axe out! I'll break. Gonna break. I promise. Must burn it all down. Yes, burn it all down. Oh my gosh. Pick it up. You need it. Hand. Okay, I, I, I did pick it up for some reason. Your left hand, cut off by Mia. It's still warm. I'm sure we can just, you know, duct tape that back on. Burn the place down, Mia. Please, do it. Let's get out of here. <sighs> and ladies and gentlemen, holding our bloody stump of a hand, about to head up into the attic and I think conclude what adventures there are left. I mean, this has got to be bad. I think you would bleed out from that, wouldn't you? And die? Basically, conclude our adventures in the guest house. That. Wow, it, it's very difficult because it does not tell me what buttons I should push. So pulling that screwdriver out of my hand, I did not know actually how to do that. What is this? Mr. Everywhere's destroyed? These are little, like, collectibles? Something called a Mr. Everywhere? There's 20 of them. Antique coins, and then there's files. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Can you see the menu? Is it actually showing you the menu this time? It does, look at that. Let's see if I can set it up. I'll have to get like a nice spot so we can set the camera. Oh. Jiggly Wiggly Jigglepuff, welcome to the channel. Tourniquet is right. Oh my gosh. It did seem to stop bleeding, but I feel like there's like arteries and stuff there. I don't think you can just cut that off and be fine. Hope I can get my hand back on though. <sighs> so that was horrifying. But we did it, folks. We've made it. It's taken us two hours, but I think we've made it through basically the tutorial of the game. Why? Why did we decide to do this? This is horrifying. <sighs> we are learning things, though. You should be able to see the menu screen. I'll have to find a way of making this screen kind of nice for the intro and outro of the channel. <sighs> hey, if I can join the undead and then they wouldn't be hunting me, and I could just cakewalk through the rest of the game, I'd be okay with that. Well, so everything that's happened so far, I think, is supposed to happen for a reason. I don't think we actually have hit a point where we can fail. I don't think that we're actually far enough in the game to even have that as an option. So we are still at zero dollars raised. Um, based on just my ignorance of the controls and my refusal to actually look up what the controls are, I'm sure we will actually start raising some quarters once we get to the game proper. But in the meantime, horror is making progress going rather slow. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your patience. I hope this is fun. I hope this is enjoyable. Hopefully it's a little bit of a creepiness to start your week off um, enjoying the month of Halloween and, of course, one of the best holidays of the year. Enjoying the month of Halloween. Enjoying the month of October and one of the best holidays of the year, Halloween. So we'll be back. <sighs> there are too many jump scares going on right now. We'll be back tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just a reminder, this is a long play week. Now, we're doing things a little bit differently because it is a unique long play. And because VR kind of hurts your eyes to play for extended periods of time. So we'll be doing Resident Evil 7, Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This Friday, 
a long play. I'm looking tentatively to be 6 p.m. to midnight like we've done in the past on the Friday long plays. But this Friday is also the day that the Ghost of Tsushima DLC comes out. Patch 1.1, I believe. Uh, the Legends expansion. So I am currently in the process of wrangling up a group of PlayStation 4 owners that also own this game. And I'm hoping that we can spend part of that stream on Friday playing Ghost of Tsushima and the Halloween-themed levels that they have released for it. So this Friday will be kind of a, a, a mix match. I do want to make sure for our long play we get a little bit of Resident Evil 7 in. We do want to continue that play going. Um, but it may be kind of in spurts simply because after about an hour, hour and a half, it does start to get on your eyes a little bit. So we'll probably start maybe a little bit of that. We'll go into Ghost of Tsushima, get the group, get the get the band back together, um, play a little bit of online, see how that is, and then if we have time, we'll get back to maybe tying into a little bit more Resident Evil 7. So it's gonna be a multi-game Friday this Friday. So it should be a pretty cool one. Oh. <sighs> Only two days into this game, and I'm already exhausted. This one's making us work. This one's making us work. But on the bright side, every little bit we do here is sending a little bit of good out into the world. So even if it's just 25 cents at a time, even if those quarters have yet to be rolling in, they will. They will. Oh, that's a good question. Flanagan, that's a good question. So far, I'm actually making it through this. So, Folks, I hope you have a great rest of your monday i hope this has been a fantastic way to start your week thank you so much for spending your morning here with me at quarters without borders look to the youtube archives quarters without borders if you want to see highlight reels if you want to see the the long plays on there um we got a lot of stuff going up we have the tail end of ghost of tsushima is going up in the archives this week so look for that as well and yeah i hope to catch you on the flip side tuesday tomorrow morning at 11 a.m eastern standards as eastern standard time as we continue our adventures in Resident Evil 7. <laughs> Have a fantastic day, folks. Stay safe. Make sure you no one loses their hands out there. And as always, happy gaming. Happy gaming. I don't know how that applies to this situation.